channel and today we are going to be taking a look at what channel one news has to be has to say about themselves and as i hope many of you know they are very stupid hey everyone and welcome to the channel one news studios in new york city i'm maggie really here to tell you a little bit about what we do for more than 23 years, Channel One has been bringing the latest news from around the world to nearly 5 million young people across the country. And while I don't want to brag, we have won quite a few awards in that time. Let's just say it's more than 300. And that includes two George Foster Peabody Awards for excellence in journalism. And our team of young digital journalists do it all, from researching, to interviewing, to shooting, and editing. We travel around the country and around the world to cover stories that are important to young people with a young perspective. See, when Channel One News reports from Afghanistan or Myanmar, or closer to home like Boston, we do things a little differently. We actually talk to young people, something the other news networks don't usually do. Because we know that young people are not only interested in what's going on in the world, but have the power to make a difference. That's why we also feature your comments, opinions, and videos on our show and website. It's also why you can find Channel One News everywhere you are, whether it's in the classroom, on the web at channelone.com, on your phone or tablet, on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, you name it. Not a day goes by when we're not interacting with our audience. And let's not forget the teachers, who not only help drive the conversation, but share real-world events that provide context for our daily lives in this complex and connected world. We can help. Each day, our newscast aligns with Common Core standards, and we provide additional teaching resources, like discussion guides, every day on our website, channel1.com. I really do have the coolest job, bringing the most important stories in the world to the most important people in our world, all right, now I have to get back to all that important work. But on behalf of everyone here at Channel One News, thanks for being a part of the show. And hey, keep watching. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Channel One News studio. Yeah, and a few things that I find funny in that video are that they think it's very awesome that they interview young people. Seriously. You turn on the news and you see them talking to young people. And when they're showing off their trophies that they have, Maggie says, well, we're not trying to brag. Well, guess what? When you're showing off your 26 or something Peabody Awards, that's kind of bragging in what I realize. Channel, and I find this is a funny fact. Channel One is founded and is paid for by a school company. Yeah, that's right. A school company that makes textbooks. Yes, and now I have a few pictures for you guys to look at. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> first one here. Um, they play songs from the early 1800s. Well, well it's kind of true. They play songs that nobody has ever heard of. I hate having them to do it every day. Another picture, Scott Evans and Ariel Hickson, one of their new people. They both don't have legs. But Ariel comes and Scotty feels better. This guy here hates Channel One. Holding up one finger, that means he hates Channel One. Channel One finger. Um, and a picture from all the people back, Channel One people in 2010, on the first day back to school. Shelby Holiday says, Welcome back to school. Aren't you glad you have to watch us every morning? Justin Finch says, Because you are a captive audience, our advertisers pay us a lot. We like making money off you students. You're the best. So basically, what they're trying to do is just trying to get money off students. Thank you for watching 